Okay. Um, so we uh, started off in design to, and it's a themes course for the university, and uh, we need to tie it together with our other themes courses and kind of um, link how everything works together and get an understanding of how no matter what kind of class or kind of environment that you're in, you need to be able to you know function and work with other people and in different uh, aspects. So taking the themes, you get different looking looks at different classes. So this is designed to, and we started off the year with a uh, basically an experimental project that we started with Adobe Illustrator, and majority of the class I would say didn't have a full understanding of the program. So we started off with basic um, tools throughout the project, and such as shape making tools, uh, different color scales, and things like that. So I started off uh, making a like a sunset in the background, and then there was like a beach, and that used different colors. And then my next design for the uh, three was a it was like an elf looking object, and it just used the pen tool to go over different abilities to make lines, you know. And it's just they're not geometric shapes essentially. And then the final design was using like different opacities and things. So we looked at like there was like ghosts in the background and like those ghosts have different opacities so it kind of like they were transparent with the background color and it made it more like that ghost feel. Um, and then our next project was to fully understand the color scales um, such as complementary monochrome and tertiary color scales and the overall idea of the class was to work with different colors so if you didn't understand the color scales and you couldn't fully grasp the entire design class. So she wanted to make sure that the entire class understood the different color schemes and throughout that would be carried throughout the rest of the projects that we had produced. Um, the next thing that we started on was like our contour line drawings and this was like it just a start of a bigger picture. Uh, the bigger picture was the bi-directional project. The, the uh, contour line drawings was just to get an idea of different shapes and different styles of objects to present in our bi-directional project. Um, after that we had to work on with like a monochromatic color scheme. So one direction it would be from light to dark and then the object in it would go from dark to light opposite so that they really transition from one to the other. And the biggest problem with that project was right in the middle. You had to have subtle differences because obviously they're like right in the middle of the monochromatic scales. So you had to have slight lighter and darker values inside those middle boxes. Um, from there we made it a lot bigger, seeing all the space that was left in those uh, color schemes. And we just added more objects to fill space because once you take an object that's really small and blow it up, you really see how much space is between those objects. Uh, and then, and then finally, after all that was done, we painted the, uh, the bi-directional blow-ups. And uh, most of that was done on the computer until the very final was painted out, actually. Um, the next project that we started was our biggest project, was this the 3D sculpture. Um, it started off on just as a circle and learning how to make a three-dimensional cube on paper which it's not as hard as you would think. You basically just put three, six dots around and you connect them to the middle, causing like a 3D box. Um, once you start cutting away um, different sections of those boxes, that's how we got our design for our actual cube. Uh, we made six different designs, uh, one of the front, back, and then same for the next three. Um, that was just a base idea for what we would finally, like what our final cube would look like. Um, and then we went to a different color scales, and I used an orange and blue complementary color scale for my cube. Um, I just thought the colors worked the best overall, and I was able to make really neutral in between colors with those oranges and blues that really made the cube stand out. Um, my overall cube was a very like minimalistic cube style, so I had to emphasize that color to be the oh, the dominant factor in the cube. Um, I also looked at a, another artist that made cubes. Um, he makes a lot larger cubes, so he doesn't really focus on color at all. His cubes are very like a grayish black color, but the size is what he emphasizes. The why I used him the most is because I kind of 
went opposite of what he did. He, you know, made it very large and very colorless, and mine was very small and minimal and had a lot of color. Um, it's Tony Rosenthal. Uh, he's made giant cubes all over the uh, all over the country. He's made them for Michigan, and there's a couple other places. And they all started in like 1979, I believe, and it goes to like 2006 was his earliest one. Um, his cubes. Are, like I said, are very large. Uh, they're taller than a human even is. So he emphasizes a lot on size where I emphasized on the color. Um, and beginning with our rough draft cubes was the hardest part just because you didn't really fully understand how to put everything together. So they come out really rough, like there would be cracks between your lines and stuff. But then once you learn that if you take the cuts before you glue it together, not just glue the square together and then make the cuts, uh, you can actually get much finer cuts and much cleaner cuts than that. So in my final, I painted all the sides first, and then I made all my cuts and made my indentations that were like my cutaways, and then I glued it together because it was a much cleaner look than my final project, uh, for my final project. Um, and then our next project was a low-key, high-key, and multi-key collages. Uh, high key meaning it has a lot of color, low key, low, low amounts of color, and multi key was kind of like a mid range between darks and lights. Um, and those, my first one was like a, it was a shark that engulfed with advertisements, and it was like a, a psychological aspect that even though you know a large shark can outpower a lot of things, even though like advertisements still compound on to us all the time. No matter how strong we think we are, we're gonna be influenced by other things. And the goal of the collages was like a, a psychological aspect, and that's what I was going for with uh, the multi-key. Uh, the low-key, it was like a really dark scene. It was like all older photos, and it was like kind of like that 50s look. Um, and then like the last one was like a vacation scene, which was really light and bright colors. And just uh, goes on with the advertisement idea that, you know, Good times are usually associated with really bright colors. Um, and then a relief project, um, I made a uh, sculpture, but basically it was like a spider web all over the, uh, the sculpture, and it was just like um, there were spiders inside the, the webbing and different things like that. Um, to compare this to my other themes course, what I took away was uh, it, everything you do in life, it, it comes in steps. Um, in the sociological perspectives themes that I took, uh, there was different stages of feminism. It has three different stages, and throughout those stages, they, they have different progressions. And uh, it's just the same as we did in class, every project we had has different progressions. So just because what you start with doesn't mean that's going to be a final product. Usually it shouldn't be, because usually your first idea is not your best idea. So as you continue through, you start to learn that and no matter what you do, the, the beginning process usually isn't the outcome, and that as you continue, your outcome becomes better based off of your perspective, um, just like the feminist uh, group. And to conclude, um, overall, the, the projects really uh, opened my perspective to you know, different softwares, Adobe Illustrator is one. Um, it gave different perspectives on painting and it taught me how to use different color schemes even in ways that I didn't fully understand. Thank you.